Yeah, dude. Let's be really clear that cocaine is not good for you and it does not make people act cool. Uh, you can ask any of my jackass buddies what I was like on cocaine and none of them are gonna say nice things. Imagine getting hit in the head with a ball bat, but that ball bat is Steve-O's tongue. Yeah, dude. <laughs> He just right here, right up in your grill. He was just a total kook. He was out of control. If I wanted to get into what a mess I was on drugs, there's plenty of footage, trust me. But what we're talking about in this video is the celebrities that I did cocaine with. There were a bunch, and I'm gonna throw a few of them under the bus right now. Ladies and gentlemen, get ready to be happy. It's time for Celebrity Cocaine Stories with Steve-O. <laughs> Paris Hilton was always very sweet to me. She really was. She would invite me to her parties, and I'm pretty sure it was because I never failed to do some seriously dumb shit. For example, one time I showed up with my backpack, pulled my laptop out of it, and I showed her every pornographic sex video I had ever made. And I had made quite a few. Of course, none of them were very long. <laughs> I'm more of a vine guy. <laughs> I know that's an old joke, but... <laughs> now, when I was showing my sex videos to Paris Hilton, it was amazing. I felt like I was showing my skateboarding videos to Tony Hawk. <laughs> and I loved going to her parties because it was always snowing. <laughs> You could bet your ass somewhere in that party there was a blizzard going on. And I was like a weatherman, tracking the storm. One time Paris had a big party at a fancy hotel in Miami. It's where I met Kid Rock. Coolest dude ever. So, me and Kid Rock, we went into this big empty room in the hotel with a couple chicks. I'll never forget it, it had a huge piano. Kid Rock walked up to that piano and he dumped out onto it more fucking cocaine than I have ever seen dumped out for personal usage. You picture somebody chopping a line with a razor blade or a credit card. Motherfucker used his whole arm. Right across the whole piano. I jumped back, I said, what the fuck is that? His exact words were, we'll just chip away at it. <laughs> and we were still chipping away at it at 2 p.m. the next day. <laughs> and I've never heard about Kid Rock having a problem with that stuff. I think he might be superhuman, somehow able to handle it, unlike me. <laughs> and Lindsay Lohan, <laughs> who I always used to affectionately call Lindsay Blohan. <laughs> and I did coke with her a bunch of times, but one was way crazier than the rest. She was all fucked up, <laughs> acting real weird. And at one point, she asked me to hold up my baggie. I thought nothing of it. I held up my baggie. And she snatched it out of my hand. I said, Give me that back. And she said, Uh-uh. I said, You stole my coke. And she said, Uh-huh. And now it's time for you to leave. Oh, such a mean girl. Of course, I did leave. I had to go tell everybody. <laughs> I mean, it's easy to get another bag of Coke. But how often can you go tell all your bros that you just got mugged by Lindsay Lohan? I used to think that bit was so wild and crazy. But now, ladies and gentlemen, I'm on the bucket list tour. It's a show about the most fucked up jackass ideas that I never thought I would actually go through with. And then I went through with them and I filmed it. And after each bit in this show, I screen this footage for you. I'm telling you, it's heavy. 
We have dudes fainting. You just passed out? Right. Here's my tour date. There's a free meet and greet for everybody in attendance after each show. I can't wait, I'll see you on the road. And the only crazier cocaine story that I have, which I'm allowed to tell, you can find in the video description. It's me and Mike Tyson, that shit is off the charts. Say what's up, Bam. Yeah, man. <laughs> <laughs> and Andy Roy. <laughs> <laughs> Woo!